the president, as you know, proposing to cut $4 trillion from the deficit within 12 years. With the administration's view, the director of the National Economic Council, Gene Sperling, joining Matt Mee now live from the White House. Gene, good to have you here with us. Welcome. Yeah, well, thanks for having us. We appreciate it. I want to go through the numbers. You got the president outlining $3 trillion in spending reductions, $500 billion in Medicare savings, $400 billion in defense cuts, and another $750 billion by extending Friday's budget deal for 12 years. You're still short about $1.35 trillion. So how do you get there? Uh, what this plan does is it cuts the deficit $4 trillion over 12 years. It does so in a very balanced way. And what's important is the president even puts in uh, a fail-safe measure, an automatic mechanism to make sure that we hit our most first and fundamental goal, that we show that the debt will be coming down as a percentage of our income, that we'll be living within our means. So I think this is a very serious, comprehensive plan. It's probably one of the most serious deficit reduction plans that the president has ever put forward. And I think it shows, uh, it creates a strong basis mm -hmm. for bipartisan negotiations. But forgive me, Gene, and you know, Bloomberg, we love to go through the numbers, but again, Again, the president outlining three trillion in cuts today, and I still said, you know, you're still short about one trillion. So where does the rest come from? Oh, I'm sorry. So it's a four trillion dollar uh, deficit reduction plan, and uh, let me tell you exactly: you get a trillion dollars from cutting discretionary spending. Most of that's on the domestic side, but if but a few hundred billion are on the security defense side. You have a trillion dollars in mandatory entitlement savings. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a large amount of that is in Medicare and Medicaid, but also in other mandatories as well. Uh, you have a the president is asking for bipartisan tax reform that he wants to reduce expenditures so that we could both lower rates and over the 12 year period raise at least a trillion dollars or, or a trillion dollars in revenues. That's three trillion. When you do that type of, of deficit reduction, you get the, the fourth trillion dollars, which is lower interest payments on the debt. So one of the important reasons to have such a strong comprehensive deficit reduction plan now is to reduce the amount of interest interest we're paying every year. So in that way, it is $3 of spending cuts, including interest savings, for every dollar that will be raised through bipartisan tax reform. Is it, uh, Gene, I mean, we heard from Paul Ryan earlier, and he said, look, we obviously have our differences on health care reform, but on Social Security, I hear a lot of Republicans and Democrats saying the same thing. So does the president want to go uh, at this really in a bipartisan way? Because it seemed like in Absolutely. his speech he was, he, was, he was hitting hard the points on which he definitely disagrees with Republicans. Uh, the health care, obvious, obviously, issue is one of them. The tax issue, it seemed that he was leaning more towards raising taxes on the wealthy rather than taking the Simpson Bulls uh, sort of of 1986 tax reform uh, elimination of loopholes. I mean, which direction is he going to go? Look, the president put forward a very serious comprehensive deficit reduction plan. Uh, uh, it's very well balanced. It actually has the same type of ratios of $3 in spending cuts for every $1 of revenue uh, raised through tax reform that the Bull Simpson plan does. Uh, and I think that, look, uh, uh, there's no question. We disagree very strongly with the House Republican budget. There are very serious differences. And, what the, and the president expressed those forcefully, as many of his critics have expressed forcefully against him. But at the end of the speech, he said, just like uh, uh, Bill Clinton and uh, Gingrich fought ferociously and had great differences, they came together to help balance the budget. And he said, for us as well, even though we have serious differences, serious visions, we have to, as a country, be able to come together, find common ground, and at least achieve the goal of showing that our debt is declining as a percentage of our income. That's important for confidence, for job creation, uh, for showing that we can live within our means and still invest in, in our people and our future. Gene, are you concerned, though? I mean, uh, the president's plan is $4 trillion of cuts over 12 years. Paul Ryan wants to cut $6 trillion and change over 10 years. And after the uh, budget debate that we had, for 2011, it looked like the Democrats were fighting for every extra dollar of spending that they can get. Are you concerned that the Democrats come off as much spendier and taxier? Uh, no, I think that, you know, uh, Speaker Boehner has said that debt 
is a major economic and moral issue. And this is about reducing our debt and our deficits. So you have to look at the combination of the plan. The Ryan plan, when you include their tax, their differences in tax relief for those who are most well off, has around $4 trillion in deficit reduction over 10 years. The president has a plan that gets there over 12 years. He's going there a slightly more careful way because he wants to make sure we don't cut in a way that hampers our economic recovery, limits our ability to invest in research education, or puts too much harsh cost that would uh, on on seniors or though on health care in a way that would undermine our basic compact uh, uh, in our country. Gene, we got to leave it there. We have so much more we'd love to talk to you about, but we'll have to get you back uh, real soon. Gene, thank you so much. Anytime. Thank Gene, you. Gene Sperling joining us there from Washington.